Hey everyone, it's Annie Pennington, and I'm going to show you how I made this raised hole in this pendant. It's pretty easy. Um, I did not anneal it during the process in the video. However, when you do it yourself, you'll have better results if you anneal it a couple times. You, it won't split as much. That'll make sense later. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is figure out where you want your hole and then use a center punch. I'm using an automatic center punch, but yours can be, you know, just an awl or something that you can strike. Basically, you want to continuously punch in the same area until you start to break through. And you can see here, just after a few strikes, it's beginning to break through. It's a split a little bit. I would anneal at this point. Just continue striking in the same area. I'm using a pretty soft wood block so that the metal can kind of form down into it. It's just a piece of scrap. It's nothing special. Um, but basically just continue the process. I have some big holes in this scrap piece of wood, which comes in handy. I can place the metal directly over it and then continue to punch. It just helps the metal flare even a little bit more. Yeah, and so at this point, you just you just keep doing it until you get a decent sized hole. And then to make the hole larger, I take this big awl that I have and I place the, the hole over one of the larger holes in the wood and then hammer the awl straight through the hole. Um, you'll be able to see it widens it up to the size of the awl. So now it's pretty big. Like I said at the beginning, you'll probably want to anneal a couple times during this process because, as you can see, um, the ends are pretty split, which is fine. I'll show you how to fix that later. Um, and now, from the front, use that same awl and begin treating it like you would a tube rivet. So I just rotated the awl around, get it to flare a little bit. To get rid of those split edges, just file carefully the top edge. If I was doing this for a project, I would take a whole lot more time, but since this is for a video, it's just a pretty quick rundown of what you do. So once I remove those split edges, I go back with the awl and continue to rotate it, just flaring those edges out. And then I switch to a small dapping punch. This is just going to help evenly round it out and flare it a little bit more. To finish it, I take a chasing hammer or just any small ball peen hammer and hammer around the edges. This will help flare the hole open a little bit more, but it will also thicken that top edge, which will give it a more finished, a more refined look. You can see it's pretty uneven at the edges. Again, if this was for a project, take a little bit more time and be a little bit more careful. Now if those edges are too sharp, just take a file and kind of angle it under the edge, if that makes sense, to remove the sharpness. Um, and do it on your bench pin. And that's how you make that little raised hole. You can clean it up however you'd like. In the pendant, I just used needle files to really refine the edges and sanded it to give it a nice smooth finish. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. Um, you can check out my website. All the links are gonna be in the info box below. Happy creating and thanks for watching.